Hi there guys, it's Pip here. Today I want to talk with you about confidence and situation change because here's something that I want to get to you which is the basis of part of this course. So today what we're going to be learning is that um, confidence is ultimately linked to situation change. So if you want to change anything in your life, maybe you want to improve your relationships, maybe it's a job that you really want, maybe it's um, even just finding your way, like I am at the moment. Maybe it's a certain level of quality of life you'd like. Maybe it's trying a new hobby, even at home. Um, whatever it is, our confidence is linked to our situation change. So here's what I want to teach you today. That is, confidence is not only something that can be taught it's and learned, it's a choice. What do I mean by that? Well. The thing is, at school, you went through a series of lessons and the maths teacher was there to teach you maths and you could learn maths. However, if you chose to do that, that was something completely different and choice is the gateway between um, creating something and not creating something. Choice is the foundation of all building blocks, basically. You can only build things if you choose to do them. Now. Having said that, I do appreciate that it's difficult to know where to begin, which is of course why I'm offering this course today and the membership areas that you can link with like-minded people and of course some coaching if you need that, obviously do feel free to, uh, to contact me once you're part of that members area. So yes, confidence is a major, major choice and here's the thing I want you to, to think about. What areas maybe yesterday, maybe last week, did you choose not to be confident in? Now I don't want you to uh, be feeling bad about yourself, but the thing is I've quite often noticed in myself that sometimes when I have a choice to do things, I for some reason don't take that choice and um, sometimes it can just be that you don't think you're capable, maybe you think it's just not you, um, you know, it's something that's unfamiliar, even if it would have, as I say, a positive outcome. It can be something that uh, we just don't resonate with and we choose not to go on that path. I mean, with a situation that you want to change, I just also want to let you know, guys, that it's not going to be instantaneous because you have to build your life from the inside out and I wish that was something that I was taught at school. Um, I had really good education, um, but I must say that there was a huge sector of uh, education that I certainly missed out on and that was personal development. Um, because as I say you can have all the techniques in the world but if you don't know how to use them it's not going to come to fruition so that's today's lesson I hope you have found that helpful do go away and do that little exercise but also think as well while you're there what um, what points did you choose to be confident is sometimes confidence is just even getting out of bed um, you know facing a difficult day uh, deciding that you're going to do something new whether that's um, you know starting to, to look at things in a more positive way, listening maybe to something positive to sort of restructure your mind. Um, quite often when we wake up we go through the same thoughts as like for example when I wake up I tend to think about um, at the minute you know how am I going to get a job and um, things that I've been through in my past that haven't helped me and all the really negative things and we have to be very very careful how we start our day and what we allow into our minds because as you may have learnt by now, there's two stories. There's the negative story that you probably have going around in your head, which we all have, and there's the positive story as well. And I just want to let you know that you can really choose that positive story, but it is difficult because your body will try and pull you back into who you were, and that person has to go. Basically, they have to they have to disappear, and that person isn't capable of making the decisions to be confident right now. Um, because it's so uh, so in tune with its automatic responses of not having confidence and maybe avoiding things so we have to change that and it is going to be a little bit of an uncomfortable journey let me tell you this, you're certainly not alone interact with our members, I don't want you to underestimate the small things that you do to change your confidence even if it's you even if it's, I went outside the house today, do you know what, for somebody with anxiety that's a major, major, major thing um, talking to somebody, um, you know, getting outside your comfort zone is, is difficult and I don't want you to 
get on a rocket and fly to the moon, I want you to do very, very, very little things because that's the way that we can build a stable base. So this isn't about uh, going at 100 miles an hour, this is about a realistic way to get you back on the road to confidence. And um, if you also have time, this is something I would love you to do as part of the members area. Go on to uh, the members area and post one thing that you've done differently. It doesn't have to be today, it can be tomorrow, it could be the rest of the week. Just something, it couldn't be something small. And what we want to do is we want to really celebrate that win because do you know what, small steps are amazing. We tend to massively underestimate ourselves. Um, and I, I just think that you don't have to be Superman. <laughs> Very few of us are on Superman, Superman, and he's a fictional character. So, um, small steps. Let's celebrate those wins. Let's start celebrating those wins from now on. So I want you to do that exercise. What have you been confident in? What have you not been confident in? And then I want you to go on Facebook and post something that you have changed, a small thing. And I tell you what, guys, the more you post, the better you will start to feel about yourself. Um, I really, really want to celebrate those wins. I think you have got a great future ahead of you. Um, I know this is not easy. That's why we're all in it together. Don't think I haven't been through this, guys. I am, you know, 100% human and it's...